All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about terminal points along the unit circle, and we're going to be very specific with the values we use uh, in this video to determine the terminal points, okay? We're going to stick with values uh, for T, uh, which are on the axes, either the x-axis, positive side or negative side, um, or on the y-axis, up here on the positive side or down here on the negative side, okay? In the next video, uh, we'll determine terminal points where we're not on the axis. We're in one of the four quadrants uh, for our value of t, okay? So first off, let's talk about what t is. t is going to be a real number, okay? And what it represents is a distance traveled along the unit circle, okay? Um, if we go in a counterclockwise fashion, uh, this real number t is going to be positive, okay? If we go in a clockwise fashion, uh, that real number t is going to be negative, okay? Now, what's going to happen if we travel a certain distance? Let's say we travel pi over 2 um, around this circle, pi over 2 radians here. It corresponds with this point 0, 1. And that ordered pair, 0, 1, is the terminal point that we're going to be looking for, okay? Um, so if t is 0, we're always going to start here at 1, 0. If t is 0, then we just stay there. We're not going uh, counterclockwise or clockwise in any direction. Uh, the distance traveled is zero, so we stay there. So the uh, ordered pair, the terminal point that corresponds with t equals zero is that ordered pair one comma zero, okay? If our t value is pi over two, okay? So we're traveling along the unit circle. We start here. We're traveling pi over two radians uh, to right here. The terminal point is going to be that ordered pair at that location, zero comma one. Okay, if we're going to travel, uh, if we've got t equals pi, that means we're going halfway around the circle, okay? And the ordered pair here that corresponds uh, with this location is negative 1, 0. So that's the terminal point uh, for t equals pi, all right? 3 pi over 2 is 3 quarters of the way around the circle, so that puts us right here. So the terminal point that corresponds with 3 pi over 2 is 0, negative 1. And finally, t equals 2 pi. Uh, we're going all the way around. 2 pi remembers one full revolution. So we get back to where we started. So notice t equals 0 and t equals 2 pi have the same terminal point because they are coterminal. Okay. Um, now again, we're going to use these ordered pairs in the future to determine the value of trig functions for each of these values and many more values too, okay? All right, so we're gonna use the graph and we're gonna answer parts A, B, C, and D here. Uh, three pi, notice it's not one of our, our angles that's one revolution around, okay? Uh, it's a little more than one revolution around, so we need to be able to find the terminal point that corresponds with any of these um, values for T, okay? Now, again, in this video, we're going to stick to values that are on the axes, okay? So the answers for these four are going to be one of these four points. Again, in the next video, we'll stop in the quadrants, either in the first quadrant, the second, the third, or the fourth, okay? So let's go to the graph, and let's find the terminal point for 3 pi, negative 4 pi, negative pi over 2, and negative 3 pi over 2. So like we said, here at 0 and 2 pi, the terminal point is 1, 0. At pi over 2, the terminal point is 0, 1. At pi, the, the terminal point is negative 1, 0. And at 3 pi over 2, the terminal point is 0, negative 1. Okay? So our first problem was t equals 3 pi. So I'll stay on the circle as best I can, but bear with me here. So 3 pi, we go halfway around, that's 1 pi. We go another half of the way around, that's going to be 2 pi. So to get to 3 pi, we're going to have to go another way around, okay? So that gets us to negative 1, 0. So the terminal point for 3 pi is going to be negative 1, 0, okay? All right. The next one was negative 4 pi, all right? So negative, remember, we're going in a clockwise fashion, so one full revolution is going to get me back to negative 2 pi. And then I'm going to do that same thing again. 
So negative four pi is gonna get me back to my starting place. So the terminal point for negative four pi is gonna be one comma zero. Okay. All right. Um, the next one was negative pi over two, okay? Well, if positive pi over two is halfway around in a counterclockwise fashion, then negative pi over two is only gonna take me to right there, okay? So negative pi over two is coterminal with three pi over two, so they have the same terminal point, zero, negative one, okay? And finally, uh, we've got negative three pi over two, okay? Well, again, three pi over two in a positive direction is three quarters of the way around the circle. So negative three pi over two, we're going clockwise. So negative three pi over two would be right there. So it's coterminal with pi over two, and they share the terminal point of zero comma one, okay? So to review, uh, our terminal point for three pi was negative one comma zero, okay? It's coterminal with pi. Negative four pi uh, was coterminal with both zero and two pi, so the terminal point is one comma zero. Negative pi over two was coterminal with three pi over two, so zero negative one is the terminal point. And negative three pi over two, okay, was coterminal with pi over two, so we had a point at zero comma one, all right? So that's how we use um, you know, real values of t, distances around the unit circle, okay, to determine terminal points. Again, all these were on the axes, and the next video will deal with points in the quadrants.